What's up? Welcome to the Verzi Triplet Show. We will be on tour. Tour is lava coming in hot October 2nd in Minneapolis, then going to Plano, Texas, Louisville, Fort Wayne, Indiana, Wisconsin, and we just added St. Louis November 2nd at the Helium Comedy Club. So come check us out there. All the tour dates, VersiTriplets.com. Today we have a, a fellow Netflix alumni, you know, we just... Tours Lava, or Floors Lava alum. And Floors Lava, and yeah. he's also on the... He's got two shows. He's got his beat. He's got two shows on Netflix. One Jack, that was very popular, and then uh, The Circle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jack Atkins yeah. in studio. Thank you guys. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, you know, it's not every day we get to... It's just, you're in Los Angeles, and you think, man, you get to hang out with other Netflix people, and you oh. don't. You know, they, don't just, they aren't just walking around everywhere. So it's nice to be amongst uh, amongst one of us. Yeah, they're hard. To, they're hard to come by. Like last summer, a lot of circle hangouts. This summer, I'm pivoting. Yeah, Lord's lava family. Yeah, Number exactly. One. Yeah, the Just FIL fam. All of your families. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I feel like the circle hangout, uh, the circle crew is probably a little more lively and fun. Is my guess. Yeah, but I, really, in reality, I haven't seen them much this summer at all. Mm -hmm. Like. Uh, I'm super close with Mitch. He's been gone a lot. Yeah, that's a handsome um, motherfucker, by the way. A that handsome is motherfucker, Adonis, I mean, right there. It but, really is. Um, yeah, I, I haven't seen a whole lot of circle people. So mm -hmm. instead, you got discount Mitch right yeah. here. You got <laughs> floors I mean, lava, Mitch. <laughs> I mean, that's that's a handsome dude. That's I don't know if you've seen this guy. Oh no, I saw Mitchell East. I, I saw him in person. He's a good looking dude. Yeah, they we look to, alike. We had to watch a lot of your season for uh, for some. We had to watch a lot of your season for it. And uh, yeah, man, that that show is uh, it's something else. It's a <laughs> that was your big statement you had. Well, no, I don't know what I was going to say there, but oh, that's good. I was going to say you don't see Netflix stars, you know, just walking around hall, except for in Barney's Beanery, which is where we yeah. bumped into you. <laughs> I do just walk around. Yeah, I don't even have a car. So yeah, you, well, you, you know, you're 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 moving back and forth between you know you're going yep. back to the Chicago for a little bit and then come back out here. Yep. You're so, going to stay out here when you come back. That's the plan. Yeah, I. Love it out here. I graduate in December, so I'm thinking I'm either going to stay in Chicago a little longer or come straight here, but one of those two is definitely my, yeah. my plan. Are you from Chicago? Or you, where from you? Connecticut originally. Okay. So but I have my mom grew up in Chicago, so I have like a lot of family there still. So yeah. I always grew up like going to Chicago. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'm a little all over the place. My dad lives in Texas too, so I'm just like. And then you're a Jacksonville Jaguars fan. Yeah. I've That's literally never off, been dude. to Jacksonville. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, so I, I just like latched onto that team when I was like eight and oh, just gotcha. stuck Dude, with them. That's, that's what you do, same man. Thing. It's, like if, it's like if you play like Madden or one of those 2K games yeah. and it's like, oh, dude, I dominated with the Jaguars. I remember growing up, the Washington uh, the Washington Wizards, uh, Tracy Tracy Mullen, or no, Tracy, uh, it was Chris Mullen and Tracy Murray. Tracy Murray. That was the team I dominated right. with in 2K, but the Wizards were terrible. But True. that's exactly no, that's, how I got my That's how, I, well, that's what I became like a big Steph Curry fan when yeah. I was like 14 because I yeah. just, cook all my friends with him and then like yeah i like, I like the war that's how i like players in the nba too. yes so it's like, I, i'm the same way i will i only like players like i have a bunch of jerseys but it's just yeah, players yeah i don't yeah. really care for the team like they like they're big lakers fans i'm like sure yeah. not so much anymore once once kobe passed like we were huge kobe fans growing up so it's like oh yeah. you know all right you need someone you can like really get behind. I guess. Exactly. And LeBron's great, but mm -hmm. he's yeah. that's, or like, that's or like, like a hometown yeah. guy. Or yeah. Jackson. Or like the well, Jaguars. We're, we're yeah. LeBron haters. For a, we, I still am a LeBron hater. Obviously, he's on the Lakers, so it's like, oh yeah, no, I I, I like him. Yeah. He's on the team, but it's like, yeah, not a LeBron fan. For I still not a LeBron fan, but that's uh, you got to kind of support him because he's on your team. Yeah. Do, you, do you wear any like jerseys or anything like that? Not much anymore. I have mm -hmm. I have a few back in Chicago. I have one here. This I have a throwback Chad Ochocinco Bengals jersey, Hell sick. Yeah, nice. which is cool. Uh, I almost wore that today, but that would uh, should have. When I like, especially when I was started out college, I was like going to a lot of frat parties. You know, uh, you got a, a good jersey is like good jersey, uh, yeah. a fashion staple. I like so. you say starting out college like it wasn't like a couple years ago. Well, so I'm, <laughs> now I'm on the tail end, so I'm like yeah. I'm not like going to frat parties. In jerseys, at least. I mean, I might attend a now few. Now you're going to, like, rap parties, you know. Yeah. It's a little, little <laughs> yeah, rap party Or some, I mean, still some frat parties, but mm -hmm. more more formal attire. Okay, there you Hoodies. go. Yeah, you've, <laughs> had to, you've had to dress it up now. Yeah, dress it up. Now, yours is interesting because you got on you got on the circle around college. Yeah. Like, you got, you got on when you were 19, right? 20. So that was, I, t I, I was during the um, fall of my junior year. So I okay. took that time off of school. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, it was definitely weird. I got were, your were your teachers like... 
I, I would imagine there would be a comedy like, hey, by the way, I'm going to be on a TV show. So I got well, like- yeah, so I had to, I didn't like the teachers because we started late. Mm-hmm. So I flew out before the, the semester even started. Yeah. So I was able to mm-hmm. I talked to like my academic advisor because mm-hmm. I had to like petition for time off. Yeah. But yeah, I was like, you think as a, for an acting school, they would be stoked that you're taking time off well, for a TV it, show. It's not like acting school at all. It's like, oh, I, I'm, like, I'm an economics student. So oh. I, <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like if I, if my teachers knew about that, they'd be like, what are you doing? Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah. um, but my academic advisor was very supportive. The school is very chill about giving people time off. So it's like, they should be whatever. Yeah. Whatever you're you paying want. them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I think I just told them, I was like, you know, I'm, Going on a TV show, and they're like, okay. <laughs> and then so I went. Yeah, they I feel like that's, stoked. That, that's almost very common nowadays. Yeah. I feel like, especially out in LA, where it's like, yeah, no, I'm just going, I'm going on, I'm going on a, a two week cruise to, to Mykonos. Gonna, and then, I'm, yeah, I'm going to go find myself real quick and I'll yeah. come back. Yeah, well, it, coincidentally, my, my little and my fraternity. Uh, was on Survivor right oh, after no, I was on right. the circle. Yeah, Xander. So literally, like, yeah, like two months later, when I from when I got back, he flew out to Fiji. So he had to do the same thing. Oh, <laughs> and then I know there's someone else from my school that's going to be on a, another reality show that so hasn't. That, uh, so that fraternity is just like a breeding ground for reality it, it, TV. It, it, and then on top of that, I don't have you guys seen Survivor? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you know Spencer Bledsoe from like Kageon Second Chances? Uh, he, I haven't seen like Survivor little, in a while. Okay, he was it was like 2014, 2015, mm. but he was on he was in my fraternity too and Jesus. he was on Survivor really? two times. So yeah, Dude, if just, you want to get on a reality TV show, just get yeah. in your fraternity. If you want to be a losing finalist on a yeah. reality TV show, yeah, because all of us were. So. Hey, you know what? Hey, and then you lo- you're also lost on Floor's Lava yeah. too. So that's but that's yeah. <laughs> that's part of it. I'm hey, just we, the loser. <laughs> join the club right here. We're two time yeah. losers. Two time losers. I have to ask. Since so you got almost like the in my opinion, the perfect uh that's the perfect opportunity to brag in college. Where it's like it's a younger people that watch the circle is like it's more it of a younger crowd. Yes. Yeah. So it's like I feel like that's a good way to just like, dude, any girls, anything like that. It's just like, yeah, check me out on Netflix. Mm. Well, eh. no, I so it it definitely didn't hurt like going out to the bars like when the circle mm-hmm. was popular. Yeah. But I will say like amongst my f- like friends and like people that I I knew it was sort of like mixed because I felt like there was like I I tried to keep it like low key. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. I like people know about it, they know about it, it's cool. But I don't want to be the one like promoting it. Oh yeah. Because oh, yeah. also at college like for the reasons you said like that creates a lot of jealousy amongst like other people. So oh, yeah. I found myself like getting a lot of shit from people. Yeah. And I'm like. Uh, my sort of bait, and like that was like kind of annoying, but I'm like, you know, what, should I not have gone on a Netflix show? Like, what are you, why not? Yeah, so, so it was almost like a target on your back in some ways, but okay. it was like, it was like my, you know, my real friends were my real friends. So, See, yeah, I was gonna say, my Alyssa, my ex, was on the circle this past yeah, season, and yeah. like, I think she had a hard time. Like, she obviously has a real core friends, but then, like, obviously had obligations because of the show Mm -hmm. and, like, felt kind of out of touch with her real friends. And I imagine some of her real friends was like, are you just, like, going big time? It's like, no, I'm just so fucking busy that I can't, I can't, like, balance. And to the same point with, like, like, friends or, like, girls or whatever, it's like, sometimes it's hard to, like, decipher people's intentions, right? Like, you want to make, like, I think there's... You know, people who approach you about your show or whatever, I think there's sort of like two lanes of it. It's like, oh, I saw you on that show. I think that's super cool. I want to talk yeah. to you. And I think like that's very genuine. Yeah. Or there's like people that was like, oh, I didn't even see your show, but I heard you on Netflix. Like, let me come get some. Yeah. Chase like, that clout. Yeah. yeah. And like, yeah. Then yeah, it's come, like, come I want to avoid that. <laughs> yeah. Like, like that, I don't, I don't, that, like that kind of attention was never really, you like want to suss out people's intentions, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I could see um, that. The only good, the good thing about the circle is that it's like, very personal where like you get to kind of follow these people in their daily mm-hmm. lives. So like they almost feel like they know you, which is good. Yeah. Kind of the same thing with stand up where like people feel like they know you mm-hmm. because like you're talking about yourself on stage. Yeah. So that end of it's kind of cool because you like accelerate the awkwardness and people are like, oh, hey, I also do whatever, you know, like. Definitely. Definitely. So that's kind of nice. No, I never had any bad like fan interactions, I guess. And yeah. The, the, I, don't think, the, I don't think you gave off the vibe of somebody that would tolerate bad interactions either. I feel like you would just be like, <laughs> okay, like. Fuck off. That's kind of, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I always try to, like, sometimes there would be, be people that, like, come up to me. It's a little awkward, but, you know, I'm always, I was trying to be friendly. Like, it's like, yeah. there was one time that it was funny. I guess this was, like, the one bad, like, it wasn't that bad, but I went to Saddle Ranch with a bunch of the circle people. Oh, yeah. And the TikTok haven. I don't know what the occasion was, but it was literally, like, Joey, Sammy, Shuby, mm-hmm. Mitchell, Cor- like, a mm-hmm. huge squad. And this group of, like, high schoolers was sitting outside and saw us and they started like freaking out. Mm. And then they come up to me and she goes up to Courtney. This one girl goes up to Courtney. 
And she's like, oh my God, I loved you. And then she turns to me and she's like, oh, but I didn't like you. And I was like, ah, damn. Like, that's fine, but like, you don't got to tell me that. Yeah. <laughs> you can just not go out of your way and shit all yeah, over me. I was like, nice. Yeah, I was like, oh, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Congrats. Yeah, that's awesome. Thanks, high schooler. Yeah. Like, and then I, I went care. home and cried. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that happens. No, yeah. I, feel, I feel like people think that they, like, they know you, they feel like they know you well enough to just be like an asshole to your face. And yeah. Tell. Like sometimes people will do that with us. We're like, it'll be at their show and they'll just like, yeah, you guys, you know, whatever you're fucking at. And I'm like, yeah, yeah they right. like chirp you because they think yeah. you're, like, you're almost like friends, but it's like, yeah. it's like I don't, I don't know, know you. You're strange. <laughs> yeah. you're strange. I don't know you. Yeah. Well, sorry, I think a lot of the younger, like well, high school younger kids nowadays, like it's kind of like the internet where it's like, oh, you can get away with it, saying anything now, but like yeah. you could actually, like if I met someone in person, like you would say what you'd say online, but it's like, oh, it's not, you're not online anymore. No, like no. you shouldn't just be saying like, oh yeah, I don't like you. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't like well, you. Well, young, younger kids are trolls. Yeah. They oh, know, 100%. They can get away with anything and then if like, you actually call them out and be like, oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. Like, uh, it's like that John Mulaney bit where he's like, the scariest people are like middle schoolers because they yeah. like make fun of you, but about the thing that you're like the most insecure yes. about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like uh, Gen Z is either incredibly soft or the biggest savages there yeah, is. Yeah, very. Because some of them will be like, oh my God, don't, don't, I, I can't, I can't send this, whatever. I, you know, I need a mental health break day or whatever. Yeah. Or they'll be like, they just have no emotions, just sociopaths, just sending all kinds of the most heinous memes possible Definitely, to everybody. Definitely, because it desensitizes you. Yes, yeah. Yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Just, we, I mean, our, our one cousin, he's just, he's just, he's, he doesn't, he's not a huge troll online. He doesn't send like heinous memes, but he's just like, he's just like, nothing bugs him. He's just like, yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. He's very chill. And it's it's very weird, too, with just, like, all the feedback through social media is, like, our brains are not wired. Like, mm -hmm. our brains are wired to, like, fit in with your, like, your tribe, like, your, yeah. your small group of people. Yeah. And then, again, when you're having, like, face-to-face -face interactions, like, people aren't yeah. going to, like, press you about like really minor things like yeah. i mean by gosh we are tribal people we can't yeah. be we can't be going around and not dealing with our tribes and then so when you change it to like oh now i'm getting feedback from thousands of people on the internet that yeah. don't have any idea who i am it's yeah. like the brain is not prepared for that so it just we think it it's funny different. we what? but we also have a group like ours is a group uh i mean everything we do is a group thing so mm. it's like it's not as bad but we don't take anything personally. What's, uh, yeah. What's the worst tweet you've ever received? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Look, t to your point, nothing was like terrible, but yeah. I remember like the first episode came out and someone was like, Jack is definitely like a full blown sociopath. And I was like, <laughs> what? It's like, and stuff like that's hilarious because you're like, that is not true. Like, yeah. yeah. But there would be certain things about like my appearance where I'm like, fuck. Like, <laughs> that's like kind of accurate. Like, yeah. Um, yeah, you dress like Ashton Kutcher in the, in the 2000s. <laughs> that's all. You're punked yeah, Ashton yeah, Kutcher. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so ours was uh, we were we it was on the first season of Floors Lava. We were looking through the comments, and this one woman d didn't like us at all. She's like, "These triplets are twat shriveling." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's that's which is uh, hilarious. Yeah. Which is, oh, that's the funniest comment. But I've we ever love heard. that. Like we like we're okay with that because we just yeah. have kind of been. Roasting each other our whole life. So, if, like, that, yeah, that sort of roast is like, you're not going to go home and be like, damn, am I really like twat trivial? You're just yeah. like, nah, it's just <laughs> yeah. like a hilarious statement. Yeah. It's, a, it's the ones that don't really seem like roast of the subtle comments. Those yeah. are the ones that fuck with you. They yeah. just linger in there where they're like, yeah, your nose is kind of disproportionate. E exactly. And you're like, yeah. what? I never thought about. And yeah. then you just, that just bruised forever. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, thankfully, I haven't had any. We haven't really had any of those ones where they just no. get deep into your psyche and you have yeah. to worry about it. Our, yeah, ours is never like yours was kind of like zero to a hundred. Like mm -hmm. there was no exposure, and then a, a bunch of exposure. Ours has been like always gradual exposure, so never like facing like the full brunt of the yeah. internet. And with the floor is lava, like you're not giving at like the circle. Your camera's on you twenty four seven. Yeah, whereas yeah. the floor is lava is a competition, so you like give your personality, but yeah. like. People aren't going to be like, yo, he's like terribly not agile. Like, yeah. <laughs> go home, dude. Like, this guy um, can't jump. Yeah. So, did you uh, jerk off in the house? <laughs> um, once or twice. Yeah. Okay. Boy. Yeah, I'll be. I'll be honest. Yeah. No, it's uh, that yeah, was a very blunt statement. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm happy to on. answer it, but just the just you jerk off. No. Well, because here's the thing. Here's the thing. When we go on road trips, right? When we do like like we're doing a tour upcoming, yeah. you know, I'll. I'll chill for a couple of days but every now and then you sneak off you, you crank one out yeah you gotta do yeah. it it's just maintenance 100 yeah. percent. yeah gotta Mitchell, keep the machine running yeah mitchell yeah, exactly. likes going like every like what we usually stay at airbnbs because it's just 
but like instead of splitting a hotel room, it's like it's almost the same price to get three rooms. Yeah, hundred percent. Let's do that. Airbnb's in the- and Mitchell, every he's like every time he's got to christen his he's got christen his new bed. He's got to go and christen his new spot. So every place we go to, he's always cleaning the. It's pipes. like you guys are like beefing over who gets the master bed. Yeah. <laughs> Mitchell's yeah. just in there like waking yeah. one yeah. out. Yeah. He's like, all right, guys, it's I already, mine. I already <laughs> finished on this one. Guys. Yeah. I'm like <laughs> I'm like the Johnny Appleseed of nutting. I just yeah. nut every Airbnb <laughs> yeah. that I can. Yeah. But yeah, no, I feel like after that, I mean, I we have a couple friends on Big Brother, and like uh, I'm just like after you, you yeah, have to you get have out to. of here. Like, no, I, well the thing is, yeah, I I think I did twice over the two weeks, hmm. and, but there's also like no material. Hold and on, I'm so Do they, stressed. It was only two weeks. You couldn't hold it for two weeks. I mean, I could. But like, <laughs> he's a twenty year old boy. Man, well, you don't, you don't have it's, a lot. It's good for the clearing the mind. Yeah, yeah. Sure. So, if he's making a tough decision, he's got to have a clear mind. Well, Big Brother, I get Big Month is three months in a house. No, like it's just that. But two oh, weeks is two well, weeks is. Well, you got nothing else to do for yeah. the most part. That's also true. Yeah. Yeah. What are you gonna do? But the thing is, I was also so stressed that I wasn't really like. Horny. Yeah. Like, I don't know. You just then, need to get. I didn't, also didn't have any like visual content, so I'd, I. Because the only place that you're not filmed is like the shower. So like that's the spot. Yeah. So I, I was basically like, yeah, these tiles are fire. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like a Rorschach tech. You start finding like those little dot yeah. diagrams. Yeah. You start finding like, things that, in the dots. That looks like my high school crush yeah. in, in, yeah. The, in the tile. You're, you're twisting the knobs. <laughs> <laughs> the hot and cold. Yeah. Uh, Just looking I would, at, I would, looking hey. at your catfish's profile. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah hey, can we pull up? Can we pull up? Uh, Bring me to uh, you know, yeah. so and so's profile. Pull up the chat with Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listen, you got to do what you got to do. I, I am yeah. like, yeah, dude. Why not? It's normal. Yeah. Well, unless there's, there's a lot of people now that are like semen retention. You got to keep there your are. semen. And it's are. just like, d- okay, do you? Do you have? Have to you done hold, it though? Holding my semen in? Yeah. No. If it wants to come out, I, I let it out. <laughs> I have dabbled in a little no nut November before. Just, Same. Just yeah. for fu- no, like it'll be like when it, November rolls around. I think last year I did like nine days. That's not and bad. I, and I was like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, like, just to dabble. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I'm not like. Well, well, I was like, I think at first I was like, let's just do it for a joke, and then yeah. it was like day three. I'm like, eh, here's the yeah. problem with no nut November. You you start off hot, and then it's like, oh, if there's actually a chance of yeah, nutting, you want to be ready. Like if you if you have a chance of having sex, yeah, you're like, oh. This could be a fun ten seconds. I have to. I have yeah. to go in there and make sure I'm I'm coming in hot. You don't want to go in there and, and just no. blow in two seconds. Well, yeah. here's the thing: if you can make it to Thanksgiving, you'll make it through the month. But it's that week before Thanksgiving where it's like you're back in town. True. There's some old high school flames. Blackout you're seeing, Wednesday. Blackout Wednesday. And it's like you got plenty of opportunity. Well, that's the thing. Yeah, like, I I don't mind it as like a like doing the whole month is like a, it's a lot. It's a lot. I can respect it's it, but also I'm like. The people that I hear about, like the semen retention stuff, stuff before, it's all about like it's so alpha. Like you'll just perform better in the gym, and I'm like, I don't go to the gym. Like, I don't. Yeah. I don't, <laughs> care. I don't care. Like, yeah. Because I think the, that whole like alpha alpha mindset these days is just like ridiculous. Like. Yeah, I think some of it's overkill for sure. It's like, yeah. what what are you gonna like? You're not wrestling a bear. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like you're you're well, you're sitting in your apartment playing Call of Duty for the most part. Yeah. So we, you know we invited you here to join Hustlers University with us. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> with, our, with our with our dean uh, well, that's uh, alpha. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. Alpha. Yeah. Well it's a perfect time to mention we're gonna be joining Rumble uh just after this with uh, Andrew <laughs> Tate. We're going over with Rumble. Um but yeah no the alpha thing is just no. I mean I I I, That's you. Do you think Andrew Tate does semen retention? No. If no. you if so, you have that much money, Andrew Tate Andrew Tate's probably exactly. letting them off every day. So no is semen problem. retention mean that you're turning down women like women that want to fuck you? You turn it down to <laughs> so you retain it. Yes. I don't know because like, like, if, if there's the dude, a flaw in the, the guys that are doing semen retention, I don't know how many offers they get. Yeah. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. Full time, like yeah. Um, because yeah. that kind of ruins the whole point. No, that's a, that you're old, a good like point. you're holding in your semen to be more alpha, and then like your alpha thing is well, like true. I do think like I had I do have a couple of friends that would like do it, but I think they would still like they had like girlfriends. So I'm like you got yeah. Oh, I feel like cheating. that's not yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's cheating if you have a girlfriend during yeah. semen retention because you're like that's beta. Yeah, it's yeah. really yeah. like so beta, dude. I'm, I'm retaining. <laughs> what do you what do you I'm, a cuck? <laughs> yeah, I'm retaining my semen even though I'll let it off in a couple that's days with my saying. girl. Yeah, that's that's cheating. No, if you're single, then I then it's a much harder challenge. Yeah, no, but, I respect. I can respect it, mm-hmm. but it's just like the reasons. I don't know. Like, I just don't think it's that big of a deal either no. way. I think. I think not doing. I think doing no porn is probably better. Yes. Like more beneficial. Yeah, that's because that like fucks with your head. Yeah. yeah. But like, 
You can still jerk off to your imagination. Yeah. You know? It's Clearly, creative. your evidence. You do yeah. it in, yeah. you do it in the show. Is, is there any internet trend that you, you've you tried? What? For, that's very vague. Like, well, there's like no nut. Did you do the ALS like, bucket challenge? You don't know. There's like, there's like, oh, yeah. there's, there's like no nut November. That. There's no fam. There's other shit like he that. He just said he tried so, it. Sober October. Wait. Did you not listen to anything he said? No, I did, Alex. There's, Wait, are we talking like trend within the realm of like... I sexual did. stuff or just like general, general. Like Here, here's what here's what i'm going to tell you what happened with this down. question he wanted to he wanted to set something up and give you a question but he did not possess the compa <laughs> he didn't have the brain capacity to think of something so he just said have you tried a trend <laughs> which <laughs> it literally it, that, but that's everything's an internet trend you be more specific think of one We'll come back to you. You don't have to do it right now. We'll come back to you, okay? Get that little bra- little like hamster in there, a little room to work. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> like literally, yeah. like, we'll give you take take a few. It's for the clips. Take a few. It's okay. Yeah, but that's just so big. There's nothing. That's okay. That's, there's nothing. You're the renegade. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, Har- the Harlem Shake. The Harlem yeah. Shake. Yeah. I was yeah, in it. a few Harlem Shake videos back in my day. Of course. Oh, fuck. Well, you must have been like you 14. Been. Yeah, I think that was God like my damn. freshman year of high school. I remember I worked. Uh, I worked for a. Um, I was. I was a PA for a director, nice. and they were they were trying to promote his new movie, and they're like, and it was a horror movie. It was a B list shitty horror movie that never got picked up, but it was like we should do a Harlem Shake video, with the horror movie. That, it's weird how. I mean, I guess we'll look back in like ten years and be like the trends of twenty twenty two were like yeah. super weird. But thinking back, that like. I remember how viral, like the Naval Academy, like the Navy yeah. was doing yeah. it. Yeah. So to literally be like, yo, guys, like, but I mean, let's the, do a Harlem Shake video. Yeah. <laughs> the, like, the movie that's a new recruitment tool. Like, is yes, Harlem Shake. Dude, yeah. Like, <laughs> the the horror movie was like it was about a a uh, it was about uh, just a guy that when he listened to music it would be fine, but then when then he he would start playing music backwards and finding satanic messages oh. in the backward music. Simpsons did it. Yeah, but then then he want, they wanted to make a Harlem Shake video with that, and they thought this is what's going to sell this fifty million dollar movie. And then they play the Harlem Shake backwards. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And it says, "I'm going to kill your fucking dog or whatever." They, I don't, I don't know. It was not. It didn't get picked up. Actually, let me see Damn. if it's, uh, let me see if he actually got that made. It most certainly did not. Get it made. almost did not. He was he was a nice guy, but it was just a, a weird. Don't mind me. I'm just. No, you're good. Did you have time to think of your question? Or are you gonna? We're just yeah, no, no. Off. I got distracted by that. Cool I'm down shake. to discuss trends. Yeah, just. Nope. This isn't this even the movie. Harlem Shake. This uh, isn't even the movie. No, so you've been on this. both the East Coast and the West Coast now. What do you think is yeah. the biggest difference in dating between the West Coast and the East Coast? Ooh, good question. I don't. I will say like, and it's also been weird because like I haven't really lived on the East Coast since, since before college, and I didn't really. Why well, count Chicago East Coast? Fair. Midwest. Um. Mid- yeah. I. Yeah, it's a good question. I don't date a lot, first and foremost. Like, I've been getting more, like, I've started dating a little bit more recently. I go through, like, phases, I feel like, where yeah, sometimes yeah. I'm, like, I'm just happy chilling by myself. Like, yeah. then you retain your semen. <laughs> uh, and then sometimes, and then also when I've been in Chicago, especially since the show, I'm, like, I know I'm coming back to L.A. Mm-hmm. Like, it's not a good time to get into anything serious. So it's, yeah. like, you kind of. Uh, fair enough. Now it's sort of, like, I have been on a few dates recently. Ooh. L.A.'s just so. I'm talking about this with friends, like especially in LA and especially in the era of like social media, I feel like we get so numb to like attractive people. Like, yeah. Cause now it's like yeah. so many people here are just beautiful that you see a beautiful person. You're like, all right. It's like, and then obviously it's, it's, now it's more about like the, the personality, <laughs> which is like, which is great, but yeah. it's like hard. You have to like really go. Whereas like, I feel like back in like, you know, before like the prevalence of social media, it's like yeah. you see a beautiful girl, you're like, yo, I gotta go talk to her. It was, it was special. It's, yeah. It so you're special. saying is that the East Coast is ugly and the West Coast is <laughs> No, I was being like with, well, <laughs> it's a, so, like, no, I mean. No, I get what you're saying. Like, yeah. LA, you get it desensitized. desensitized. Yeah. It's, Just it's, even with social media in general, though, it's mm-hmm. like, think about, like, you live in, like, rural America, like, you see, like, a nine at the bar you're like yeah this is the hottest girl i've ever seen in my life like yeah. this is let's settle down and get married and have children yeah. now it's like you're on tiktok i, I have like a new oh. tiktok crush every day I'm like, oh yeah. every <laughs> fucking day dude who's yeah. your tiktok crush right now dude too many they're, they're all like low-key though <laughs> well we'll have to do dude, i'll, I'll, I'll share the well, yeah, off off air. Air. Oh, I, I don't want to <laughs> call anyone out but hadeline mope is one of mine oh dude dude yes. she's a babe <laughs> mac the snack and mackenzie i think your name's mackenzie jackson isabella lauren is that girl's a babe. Exactly, there's too many. So now it's like we go to like the sports bar 
Mm-hmm. And it's like, you know, when you meet, so, like, you might meet a girl. It's, that's, I think now it's like, it's best to meet, like, girls through, like, friends. Cause then you yeah. can, like, yeah. make a connection and be like, okay, they're actually like, really chill. What like, the fuck is a connection? I know. That's what I'm saying. Da- <laughs> dating, dating through mutual friends is the best way to do it. Yeah. I, I, online dating, it's like hopeless, I think. Like, I think everybody has too many options. Exactly. So if you get a, fr- if you exactly. the friend referral, that's the best in possible. And, like, I, I, I'm a big hinge enthusiast. Like, yeah. I'm the online dating ones. Yeah, for sure. And I've been on, like, a few hinge dates. Mm-hmm. And they're like solid, but yeah, like yeah. again, I agree. Like you'd rather meet someone where there's no sort of like preset expectation of like romance and just like really get along as people, and then be like, you know, we're both like thinking we each other is hot, so like yeah. let's let's make this happen. Hinge is by far the best dating profile. Definitely. If you definitely. if you go on Tinder now, Tinder is literally just you're swiping through bots. Yeah. Shitty Instagram profiles. And you get like a match like once. A, I like I don't go on Tinder as much because I use yeah. Hinge, but it's like like you yeah, you get far fewer matches whereas hinge i feel like yeah. you get pretty frequent like tinder you get one match and then it's congrats it's an advertisement for whatever they're trying to yeah. sell it's and like, hinge is nice because you could see who likes you yes, so it's yeah. like it takes the like obviously you kind of gotta like go a couple times like i usually go on the morning like see my like what's it called suggested, like, you're, you're yeah, suggested yeah. like you're like best met your best match yeah get a couple go and just to like keep the algorithm rolling and then yeah. it's like you know you get one or two one or two likes that day and you're like okay i can yeah. just go on Yes, no. Well, Sean, you know, Sean has been using a uh, Truth Social as his dating app. That's his big. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I could tell. Was that a joke? It, it, I, yeah, I could sure. tell it was a joke, but I don't know what it, it is. It was. So. It's Trump's like ah, platform. Yeah. <laughs> it's his. Uh, there are some baddies on there. <laughs> well, no, I was gonna TikTok. I hope. Yeah, I was gonna say TikTok. Man, that is. I feel like you just. I I believe in love at first sight because of TikTok now. Because like you, just, if once you get in that algorithm, you get in the correct algorithm, and it's just. Baddie after baddie. They know they know our baddie. types, bro. Like, oh, the worst. You, oh believe in, you believe in love at first sight on TikTok? Yeah. I was gonna say not TikTok because now there's so many good-looking girls that I'm like, I don't even know. So I'd have to like make mm-hmm. that connection. No, but I, every- I will be like, I'll see a girl like, yeah, she is beautiful. Exactly. Like, yeah. Yeah. But now it's like, but once you get in the dude, every like today it was like five of them. Like man, like I gotta, it's too I many. gotta go to Utah exactly. or something. Exactly. Like, yeah. I will say the the TikTok algorithm does it knows what you like. Like if you if you look at one fitness girl and then like the ass in the fitness one, TikTok goes. I know exactly his eyes are looking at the ass, and then they just throw up big booty blondes the rest exactly, of the day. Exactly. Exactly. I did this. I had this like partnership with Snapchat where I'd post on like their spotlight. Yeah. And to like. I'd have to, like, share the screenshots of my spotlights, like, with the Snapchat people to, like, show that I was doing it. Yeah. So I'd go over to Spotlight, <laughs> and for the first, like, three months of this, like, when I would pull up Spotlight, it was literally just, like, the horniest shit. And I, like, wasn't even watching them because I yeah. would go and just click my profile to, like, screenshot my stuff. Mm-hmm. And I really was, like, I'm not on here to, like, see people's asses. And, yeah, like, yeah. every time, I'm, like, this is just, like, preying on my my manhood right yeah. now. Yeah. Like, well, we, <laughs> we've talked about how the, the main, that, that discovery page is just like yeah. the most ridiculous. It's like, but that's just too much. Like, I don't, it's, it's yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like when I'm casually like waking up in the morning, I don't oh, need that. I like, mean, I could pull up the Snapchat, the Snapchat thing right now. And I guarantee it'll be like, uh, I, I'm in love with a watermelon and that's okay. Like it's, it's like literally that ridiculous <laughs> oh, stuff. But the spotlight is on the far right. The spotlight oh, yeah, yeah, is yeah. there. The, the discover yeah, yeah. page is, is I don't even use it. The discovery ones are super weird too. Yeah. yeah it's oh, yeah. really just wild. It's so clickbait. Uh, yeah. It's Absolutely. all clickbait. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's overkill. I was trying to find a good one. There comes a point where like, I, I have to be like, all right, like with TikTok, I'm like, I need to like get off and just like, I know. I'm trying to get off and like, just try to be more in the moment. Yeah. Um, but it's tough. It like is because you get so like it's boring. Like you get bored here. It's like okay, most normal people would be like, yeah, let's we'll go outside and go for a walk or whatever. I'm like, yeah. that's late. Well, I know? usually just hit TikTok like in the morning or before I go to bed and then try to yeah, stay okay. off it. But Smart. I was gonna say, you know, I, I always thought it was weird that like so many people like grouped up together and did like the harm shake. I always thought that was weird, and then I was like, man, you see all these girls doing like they're getting ready and they do these coordinated TikTok dances. Yeah. I'm like. What I kind of losers kind of thing, are doing yeah. TikTok dances before they go out? And I'm like, oh, yeah, we were doing I will say, have you seen, we were doing TikToks have together. Seen, <laughs> have you seen those sorority rush videos right now? Oh, so many. That they just, these girls are just going off in these dance videos. Yeah. And then, but then it's also like the good ones are like crazy coordinated dance moves. And the other ones are literally opening the gates of hell where it's like they're all clapping <laughs> yeah. in sync. Like, oh, my God. We've been waiting God. for you all summer. We're oh. so glad you're finally here. <laughs> you can see the crazy in all of their yeah. eyes, and they all are, like, doing it in sync like this. It is it's like creepy. animatronics. And- I know. It's really – and, like, that compared to, like – because 
this, like I'm in Greek life at school. It's like the, mm. the way the sororities operate, and ours isn't really that intense. Like the sororities aren't super intense at ours. Yeah, but what it's yeah. like even like with their rush, where it's like you have to be like sober the whole p rush period. Like you have mm. to like talk about like they'll like really? meet up and be like, so what, what? Like what are your like philanthropic aspirations? And like everyone knows it's like all the girls I know are like, oh, we know it's bullshit, but we just have to do it. Yeah. Whereas like frats, it's like. Oh, you're good at beer pong? Like, dude, you get a bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, Polar opposites. That's same. so bizarre. Like, I feel like every sorority rush video is now it's like a, a next it's like another movie, like step up movie, you know? Yeah. It's like them just yeah. like, All right, you bring it to the floor, you know, we're gonna go dance. It's like like who the fuck And all the that? comments are like Slay ladies, yeah, like slay, yes. <laughs> so we had a we had a comic on last week and he he was in a frat in like the early two thousands when they were mm. still hazing. Yeah. And he was saying, like, oh, we would never do that. Yeah, you would they never, yeah, on never each other. do any. Yeah, they, they were like puking on each other and shit. Like, they couldn't shower for seven days. Damn. They uh, they had to eat like it was like expired fish, mayonnaise, and ketchup put together. Like, it was disgusting. What shit. fraternity was he in? This sounds weirdly familiar. Um, where did he go? <laughs> I don't remember his name. I, didn't, well, I don't, I don't think we one. ever got the, I don't think we ever had it. was in North Carolina. Oh, it was UNC. Got you he went to got UNC. Got That's exactly where you expect that stuff to go down. Yeah. Just yeah. back east, no Car the Carolina boys, just drunk off moonshine is my yeah. guess. Did you have any, you you, kind of, you went to like some of the sorority parties, right? I'm assuming. Well, like fraternity parties. Yeah. Because yeah. well, the sororities at our school don't even have houses. So it's like, all, it, all oh, goes really? through, it all flows like through the fraternities. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, so I live in my now. fraternity. Oh, you yeah. live in your frat Yeah, because like I live there. Like now it's like, I don't really want to live there, but I only have nine weeks left and it's yeah. just like easier to pay yeah. for nine weeks than to like pay for a this year long is, lease so you have nine weeks left this is what i would do if i was you i would take my a netflix picture of you on the show put it on my door and then when they have the big frat parties just show girls the netflix stuff and then be like eh? just, no just, i like bring them to my room and be, oh, don't mind that i don't know i don't know how that got there. yeah <laughs> what? Oh, let's turn let's find something to watch how about uh have you have you watched the show oh my god that's me wow that's what i would <laughs> don't do. mind It'll don't mind that don't buy my blue check mark at, at the end of my <laughs> username It'll, it'd be you that you should have you xander and the other guy just all on the front door right there yeah. like in the windows like the cutouts of you yeah we get like a nice composite just of the three yeah. of us yeah, yeah. yeah. you know no. they do like the bed sheets on the game day where it's yeah, like you know, they fuck, hang them up, fuck yeah. fresno state and then it's like you just have your guys's banners from your shows <laughs> reality finalists live here i think <laughs> i'd get a lot of sh i'd get a lot of shit for that <laughs> <laughs> what's your what's your deal breaker for dating right now oh that's a good question man i there's, I think there's two things like that jump jump to my one is like just like timing and circumstances really have to, and I'm I'm very, like I've only dated one person and so only like a long term or just like no it was like two months because I realized <laughs> the timing and the circumstances didn't make sense because she's yeah. like she's two years below me in school okay and this was like right before the circle was gonna come out so I was like I'm gonna be in L A for like five months like yeah it just doesn't really mm. like make sense like I don't wanna so that's sort of like where I'm at with that and then also. I've, this sounds this probably sounds bad but i've realized recently like so i know a lot of my friends will like be interested in girls that they don't that they think they are attractive but they don't let it get along with at all like they think they're like annoying like for me it's yes. like as soon as i get oh. like an ick from a girl like it doesn't matter how good looking she is i'm just like i'm not oh you get the cool. male ick sometimes yeah yeah i don't want, i know it's like a like a cliche term yeah now, no but, but that that's a good yeah, way to describe sometimes it. with like a girl like she can be like really good looking and i'll just get a weird vibe from her i'm like i'm not gonna what is, you're not blinded by the attractiveness a lot I, of guys I are don't blinded by so. the attractiveness. no i don't think i am what's what's much. your biggest male ick <sighs> that a girl's done um hmm. there's a i don't even know specific like a specific x i more so just like like I think one thing that often bothers me is like way like far too like overly energetic. Okay. <laughs> okay. Like yeah, the where, crackhead girls. Yeah. Like I I knew a girl that I was hanging out with where like we met like this other girl and she she, she was like oh what school do you like X Y like what school do yeah. you go etc et and they're like oh do you know like Sarah Smith yeah and the frat like the girl I was with was like shut the fuck up like you know sarah smith and, and then at the end of the conversation the other guy was like so like how do you know sarah there's like oh, i've just like heard of her yeah. and i was like what like oh they're like, like fake yeah like, i was like uh, i was like very weird like yeah, girl, yeah girls will fake 
energy around other girls. Yeah. Like they'll like they'll turn it up to ten thousand yeah. when they're around. And that each other. that always like yeah. Well, guys like, are the opposite. Guys are like, dude, I could hang out. With, like, if I see a yeah, guy, it's I like you like beer and you like sports. Like, yeah, let's hang out. <laughs> dude, yeah. my, my mom, I've been, we've, we've we've one of our buddies we've known for fifteen years. For, we've been a long time family friend. My mom asked me what 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 job is he doing now, and he's had the same job for like four years. And I'm like, I honestly don't yeah. know. I, I can't <laughs> tell you what he's doing. Yeah. Yeah. You you seem like you would not do well with an energetic girl. You seem like you have the the chill energy of like a therapy dog. I'll take that. Yeah, you have like <laughs> you have like a. I, I don't want to. I don't want to. Because I, I feel. I feel like I'm. Uh. I don't want to shit on like girls with like like and like enthusiasm. Yeah, there's a difference. There is a difference. But it's like when it's nonstop, yes. it just comes across as very. Fake. Fake. It's like it's like yeah. cultish yes. almost. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I'm like. Right. Yeah, where they're saying like, "Oh my God, no way!" And yeah. then they have a little twang to it. Yeah, the, yeah, and, yeah that's. And, I, and it's, yeah, and I, it's just like. We don't have to try so hard. Like, yeah, my, you don't uh, want to offend any of them, but I will. I think it's very <laughs> annoying. Yeah, you say what you know that I'm thinking, and I will. I won't disagree with. You. Yes, no. My my friend, uh, her her father remarried, right? And yeah. the uh, the the new wife was like very fake energy, very much. Oh my gosh, like so fake, nice. And then like when she started learning more about the woman, like she it's started realizing like, that their kids like started distancing herself, and like why she seems nice is like. Yeah, that's not how she actually is. Yeah, and then over time, she's kind of discovered like, oh, that's kind of a facade. And that's the worst. So, yeah. And I think a lot of that fake energy comes off as like, oh, what are you, what are you being fake for? Like, what are you trying to hide here? Yeah, you got some skeletons in your closet. Yeah. A, a red flag for me is where, like when they're way, way, way too positive. Like that too. Like yeah. motivational speaker positive, where it's like, oh my god, everything is perfect and yay and yay. Yeah. It's like. It's okay that everything's not fine. Like exactly. it's okay. And to like, the to that same point, again, this sounds sort of bad, but I feel like you know what I'm saying. Where it's like, this is like with relationships or friendships. Like mm -hmm. when it's overly positive, or they like like everybody. It yeah, sounds weird. No, because it's like, or if you or you you say you like everybody, but like behind closed doors, you like talk shit. It's like, yeah. well, then how do I know that you actually yes. like me? Yep. Is like when when someone who's just like likes everybody. It's like we yeah. can't, you know. Sarah yeah. Smith is such a fuckly bitch <laughs> yeah i just fucking yeah, yeah. I got that i think as, as you get older you get rid of like that mentality yeah because i'm like if i'm with my boys and it's like we can all come together and be like oh this one person is like whack then it's like okay i know that we're actually friends because like yeah. we like so i don't know like, I, 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 feel that, like, oh, I was gonna say i feel like guys don't dry as, draw as many lines in the sand i feel like guys are no. like oh yeah they kind of suck well you know whatever we can still get along yeah i feel like girls will be like it's either her true or me and true. it's like i mean we're adults, so right. like you know, you can just get along for the evening and then yeah. never talk to her. Again. It's funny too, because like my friends, I, I've, a couple of friends have told me this, where it's like I get along with like ninety five percent of people, mm -hmm. like very very easily, and then my friends have told me that like they can tell when it's that one person that I just immediately get a bad read from, and they're <laughs> like they're like we trust we trust your judgment so much that we immediately like this person's got to be like whack, and like yeah. the few people I've ever been like that with. It, like initially, mm -hmm. it always comes out like four weeks later that they like did something like really heinous yeah. or like yeah. we were like, and everyone was like, "Yo, you were right." And You're I'm like a like, horse; you could sense hey, the, yeah, the yeah. therapy dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got, get along it. with everybody, and then yeah. like the one, per like the one bad egg. I'm like, Listen, no, something's not right. Yeah, you <laughs> could like put your ear to them and be like, "This person, this person sucks. We got to get away." <laughs> I'll say our initial <laughs> instinct is, at least for me, it's like, "Oh, eh, like I, I'm very neutral on it, and I kind of we kind of wait you out a little yeah. bit, and then like, yeah." But you, you like you can kind of sense. I don't want to say that I like jump. I, like I don't usually try to like jump with my judgments. But yeah. it's like once I have enough, like, uh, like yeah. enough of a read on. Well, people. we're nice because we have at least like a group dynamic. So if people meet us, mm -hmm. they'll kind of be more nice, and I'm usually more of the line stepper. Where I'll start. Yeah. I'll see where we can get away with things. But if you get a, once you get away with like a certain joke and they're like or whatever, you go okay. That person's like you're gonna vibe with us. Yeah. But if you don't, it's like okay. Well, hey, you know what? Cordial, fine, but. Yeah, yeah, you you, you got to test it out, little feelers. So you you saw us do stand up, so it's like, oh, you kind of already knew us <laughs> testing the line a little bit. And then yeah, it's like, oh, okay, cool. Nah, I, I, yeah, you guys had a great set. Um, <laughs> thank you, thank you. But it was funny. Some of the jokes you could tell, like some of the audience like didn't feel it, but I thought it was hilarious. It was, oh, a, it was yeah, a, a right very, in the middle. <laughs> we yeah. knew who it was. <laughs> there was a yeah. very woke uh, crowd. That half of them were like very woke and like. Uh, very LA. Oh, that, that was that squad in the middle. Yes, yeah, and then there's also like a lot of older people there too. Yeah. It was a weird. It was a weird crowd. Yeah. It was kind of yeah. like an NBC show. They just cast kind of a little bit of everybody yeah. on it, yeah. and uh, that's how it goes. That's but, yeah, I feel like a lot of those like fake 
girls or whatever, like the fake personality. Like, I feel like that's if they grow up with just sisters. Because I feel I, like for the most yeah. part, like a guy, like having a brother will be like, why, like, why are you doing that shit? Yeah. You grow up with brothers or sisters? No, I'm an only child. So. Oh, I, really? I was yeah. going to guess you were an only child. Yeah. And there's either, I think only children are either uh, very chill or batshit crazy. I, I, yeah, I, I know that the, like the common trope about only children is like, like entitled and spoiled. But a lot of people will tell me like that I don't seem like an only child. But no, well, because only only children will sometimes that you'll find out the weirdness as as you go. Like they'll think yeah. something's normal because they were an only child. Yeah, and then as they start talking, they'll like gradually slip it into the conversation. You know, like mm. yeah, when I was growing up, I used to eat all my toenails. It's like what? Like that? That's no. <laughs> that's like well, my parents did it. Yeah, yeah. My parents <laughs> did. It's like yeah. oh, that's yeah. what the, like the weirdness comes out because brothers will let you know like right off the bat. Like if you if you're if you're doing something wrong or something looks weird, we yeah. go your haircut sucks and it's stupid. Get rid of it. Yeah, them. you need that. No, I wish I had that because especially like middle school well, and high school. Well, your haircut sucks and it looks stupid. <laughs> get rid of it. No, he's got a vibe. You've got a very, yeah. uh, I wish I had that hair. What's the uh, Nelk Boys seltzer? What's their hard seltzer? Happy dad. dad. Happy, you have a very happy dad really? vibe right now. We'll take it. It's yeah. such a vibe he knew what the name of it was. I mean, well, uh, he's wearing another hard seltzer, but yeah. True. Don't, don't uh, log out. Don't I know my, uh, yeah. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, <laughs> um, Wait, what were you saying? Yeah, only only, only I feel like only children uh, yeah. cuz you and you also you remind me of my cousin I was talking about earlier who he's an only child, he's just super chill, very mm. mellow, going with the flow. Yeah. Nothing really bugs him. Well, you have to learn to make yourself happy. You have to like learn to keep yourself busy and like mm. find your own happiness, which is good cuz I feel like yeah. when you're an adult and you like leave home for the first time, you are like not accustomed to that. And Definitely. at least if you're an only child, you're like, yeah, this is what I've always known. You know, I wish I I will say I wish like growing up I had those like especially older siblings because I do think in like middle school and high school like especially when you're in like the most awkward phase of your life you could use a brother to just be like yo like you're being whack right now like yeah. get your but, shit but they also or they, they make it worse they also will cripple you I've had that experience too even to this day we still have that like shit yeah. where like I, I had to go I went to the doctors earlier this week and my bro- I was like yeah you know I just don't I feel off my brother's like you're just being a pussy I'm like you know what maybe I'll just delay the doctors. <laughs> And it turns out I actually had something that was of issue. I was gonna so, say, yeah, micro like, penis. Uh, <laughs> can they micro- fix that? Or? Um, they, we're working on a um, cool. like Extension. a little cock yeah. rhinoplasty yeah. that they're gonna do. Solid. So, Solid. Yeah, we'll see. It's so going, I'm gonna get a black one. That's yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had this like I I blew up. I tore my ACL in in high school, and you know, oh my god, like whatever. It was it was, it was a bad time for me. But every I remember this every single day. My brothers would tell me, "Hey, you're faking it." <laughs> Even oh, after yeah. I got the surgery, it was just, yeah, you're faking it still. You're just doing this for attention. It was like, an elaborate ruse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He just wanted. That's the other end of having brothers is, yeah. is that torment. I think yeah. he was faking it. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I think he was. Yeah. He could still walk around. He seemed totally fine. Yeah. He mean, cut his own knee. He he self-harmed on his knee yeah, right there. Yeah. That's the scar. Yeah, I loved showering with a trash bag for three weeks. <laughs> Oh, you do that too? I yeah. had to. <laughs> well, I know what you put in your trash bag in the, in the circle. <laughs> no, man. It's I. What was? What do you think the best part of being an only child was? Um, I guess like <laughs> I'm gonna phrase this so with competition for resources. <laughs> I feel like I'm talking about like war, oh, but it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. it's like when I wanted to play the Wii. No. That shit was all mine. We, like, didn't, we, we didn't have any Wii rations growing up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm I'm jealous of that because growing up, we 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 didn't get to play any of the cool single player games. Yeah, everything on the Nintendo 64 was split. You are playing but to that point. I couldn't even go multiplayer. Like if I wanted to play like uh, uh, you know, like 2K true. with someone, it's like yeah. But I feel like by the time we're we're a little old, just a little true. older than you. You there was. Uh, on uh, online true, game, so true. you can play with people. That's online. a good point. That's a good point. Yeah, but there's, I mean, if you have the Wii, it's like what am I gonna play? Keep I playing mean, Wii Sports against myself. Like, here's a, the perfect generation difference. He said Wii, and we said Nintendo 64. So <laughs> that'll well, date everything. I mean, yeah, but like we grew up with like Smash Brothers and Mario Kart. Yeah, as only no, kid, you really can't play that. No, I remember I played a lot of like GameCube too. I didn't have one, yeah. but like my friends had it, and that was GameCube always was like, great. a great time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, Animal yeah, Crossing. I played by a lot yourself. of Pokemon. I mean, yeah, Pokemon's great. Did you ever get into like The Sims or any of that? Not super hard. I feel like The Sims is a girl game. I think more recently now it is, but I like I had friends that played it growing up. Like it was yeah. it was cool. The, the Sims and Animal for some reason girls love games where they just have control over everything. <laughs> Animal Crossing, really? The Sims, they just control the whole. Yeah. I want to control you, and this is my furniture, and you're in this room, and we're not going anywhere. <laughs> we're staying at home. 
Well, it's all design based. They like design. They like you know create. It's True. just it's an aesthetic. It's an aesthetic. Thing. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna marry this guy in this house. We're gonna go in the house. I built a three bedroom house for us, and I'm gonna marry him. And then it's. You know what? We're sick of this guy. He he sat on the couch. We're we're done with him. That's luck. Yeah, you <laughs> throw him out. No. Like roller coaster remember, tycoon. Yeah, yeah. Well, Solid. Uh, you, found a, you found a you found a psycho in roller coaster tycoon. Be, oh, excuse me. I'm gonna reset that because, <laughs> dude, if you played roller to <laughs> roller <laughs> toasters, <laughs> if you played roller coaster tycoon, you found it real quick if you were a psycho. Because I remember any time someone would leave my park a bad review. I would put one square of water on the very end of the park, and I would just pick them up and drown them <laughs> in the water. Damn. I, I remember would, I got that game used, and I don't think I could like reset the game, so there was like a full, like full blown amusement park in there. I was like, damn. Like, oh, there goes sucks. all of my architectural aspirations right yeah. there. You could definitely redo the game. I, I, I tried probably for like five minutes, and I was like, I give up. My 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 cycle thing. I was make these. I would make these long, elaborate paths. That go all the way to the corner, and then you just have like the water slide or whatever. You have two water slides that face each other, and then boom, they both crash. And then it's like, oh, 15 people just died on your water slides. And I'm like, nice. I didn't realize <laughs> the park is working. Yeah, the park is working. <laughs> I didn't realize my brothers were fucking yeah. psychopaths. He's like, I just Jesus. made loop de lives. Like. Yeah, I, made, <laughs> yeah. I, made, I, I tried to make an actual business that yeah. way efficiently, but these guys are profit, profit. Yeah, yeah. murdering. <laughs> Mitchell, hey. Mitchell's a guy going around just cleaning the throw up offer. <laughs> That's you. I tried, dude. I tried to make it a very clean park, man. I tried to, you know, try to have good reviews. I didn't want to like, I didn't want to hurt my little, my little people. Of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. I was always a, I was always a good Samaritan when it came to those games. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like you were not a guy on Xbox Live that would talk shit. No, not really. Like, well, no, not really. I, I just like. I, I, can't I feel like you're. You. I feel like you're a great teammate. I would. I would like to think so. I feel I had like some you're... great success on Fortnite yesterday. Nice back to back wins. Oh, you know, oh how strategic? You... We get strategic. Yeah, are you playing the new? Uh, I think the beta just came out. But do you play new, Warzone? Yeah, at all? I do you play Warzone? Dude, we will have to link too. up and play Warzone I'm when the out. I'm down. I'm very down. I haven't played the. the I, I just like the rebirth, like the rebirth yes, island. Yes, it's, it's quicker. It's, it's way, way quicker. quicker. I hate running around on the giant map for like 20 minutes and you die the first time you see people. Like, you yeah, get sniped and then you get a shitty gulag. It's like, well, that wasn't worth it. Although the the cool part about the new Warzone zone is that when you're close to another group they they have it so you have proximity chat so you can if another oh. group is nearby you can start you can hearing start them talk shit. but you don't know where they are but you 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 oh, can hear them that's pretty cool so I, it's going uh, to unleash a epic amount of shit talking that yeah. is that is going to be a disaster for the people we play with yes yeah. <laughs> people they, are way too confident on Cod, like oh yeah, that, like yeah. the things people say on there, it's like yo. Oh, I I'd say on the kill cams, I say heinous things on Warzone. Yeah, <laughs> I say heinous things. But well, people bust out like the slurs, and it's like yeah. yo. We, 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 we well, can. I don't say all of them, but <laughs> <laughs> I mean these guys are murdering people in their in their roller coaster tycoon. I can only yeah. imagine what they're saying. Sickos. Yeah. They're experimenting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I definitely, I definitely will say things about their mom if, if no, they that's, kill me in Warzone. No, that's that's totally in bounds. Yeah. 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 Their mom. Say, the we're dog, either. As like teammates, like you either love us because like we we give a hundred percent. Like this is our Super Bowl. Yeah. Like if we play basketball, Action, yeah. yeah, this is this means everything to us. We need to win this pickup game. Yeah. Or if you're playing against us, like why are these fucking little midgets going elbowing so me and throwing yeah. knee? Yeah, and like going so no, that's hard. That's good to have on your team for sure. It is, but yeah. if you play against us, we we're we like suck. Patrick Beverly's. If you watch basketball, Fair. exactly. Yeah, that's yeah, a good yeah, way yeah. to describe yeah. us. I well, would say. No, no, Sean and I. Are like Patrick. You're you're. Who's this player? I'm a Luca Mitchell. No, Mitchell no, absolutely a, no. Luca Doncic. Mitchell is a team mom. He's gonna be like, <laughs> no. good job, everybody. Here's some oranges. No, I'm like, we gotta you. stay hydrated. I'm like, I'm like you, where I'm like, okay, I mainly just want to have fun. But if we win, that's dope too. Well, when it comes to basketball, I, I go, I, I'm pretty competitive. Thank you. Hey, you're not you built, ball. You're not built yeah. like us, dude. I haven't I played in a while. But I, would, I, I almost played in college. When you go back to oh really? Okay. Then, so yeah. you're going to be solid either way. You're you're tall yeah. too. Well, you're it's, a squash. it's it's nice to see a tall guy that actually plays basketball because yeah. there's like Jeff over here, our buddy. Like Doesn't so play. many of them just waste their height. He plays tennis. He's athletic. No comment. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, yeah. Tennis is a good frame for tall too. It is. Jeff but, was know. semi pro in tennis, so it's not like he wasted. Well, his. That's he didn't pretty waste. cool. Yeah, yeah. He, he's he's a legit tennis player. I played in high school. And now he's yeah. now he's semi employed. That's how I describe him now. Yeah. And he runs the, and we pay him to run. The, <laughs> well, there's no good, there's no good runs out here in LA. Like that's one thing I miss is like you can't really get a good basketball game running out here. Like it's always like everything's spaced out. There's no good indoor gyms True. to play at. 
I like fitness. I mean, I haven't I haven't played at all this summer, so I but yeah. I wouldn't really know. But I well, feel like LA gyms, fitness is all right. Like, it's all right, but like if you go at the wrong time, like if you go at like ten o'clock and it's like, oh hey, thirty people just came in. It's like, true, oh cool, true. maybe are, you get to run. Are you in Beverly right now? Mm-hmm. How far is Beverly from downtown? Is it like twenty? Twenty minutes probably. Yeah. Because yeah. we got a buddy that has he has a big apartment building and they have their own court. basketball court in there Ooh. and they get solid runs. So That's when cool. you come back, we'll have to we'll have to play. I'm down. I'll yeah, come back. What about tonight? <laughs> or tonight? Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. I, I mean, I would. I, I mean, I'm not kidding, but I'm kidding. I would have to talk to him. But uh, yeah, I, I have not. Well, gotten gone for nine weeks, right? You'll be back. By yeah. Warm be. up at college. Yeah. Get some runs in. Get an yeah. intramural maybe, and then uh, you know, come back and we'll just start. You got running. some decent runs at my school at our gym. That yeah. dude, I miss that dude. I yeah. miss that about. Uh, I mi- I miss that about going through college is that everybody is down to be active and play sports in college. True. Now Your meals are great. Yeah. I, yeah no one time. wants to play anything. Once you turn 25, no one wants to go out and play anything. Turkey bowls, dude, everybody just touch. No one wants to play tackle. Foot, no one plays basketball anymore. It sucks that you don't get to play. You don't get that. You don't get to get that competitive edge out as I you get older. That. Yeah, I haven't like worked out. At, I haven't exercised like at all this. I've played a little. I've started playing a little beach volleyball like a few times. Of okay. course, of course. But Top Gun. You watch Top Gun? Yeah. I haven't seen that. Oh, I, I gotta see I the new one. Either. I gotta watch. But that like the, um, I just had like a friend that had like a big group that plays like uh, Santa, Santa Monica, and they invited me, and I was like, and we oh, like yeah. drink and play, and like it was pretty fun. And I'm tall, so like it worked. Perfect. Yeah. I wasn't is, it particularly isn't. good, but. Ah, but I mean, it's you have fun to get out there. Yeah, like, you yeah. jumping you, around. I'm, I'm gonna say this: you you don't look like the most coordinated guy. You look like uh, so he said he almost played ca- college basketball. Well, I get that, but if you look at him, it, it looks like you don't know how to use your limbs. I would say fully. for my for my height, I'm pretty coordinated. Yeah, but being my height. You're naturally like less coordinated. Yes. Can, we, can we pull up the floor's lava tape? Is that is that available? <laughs> that <laughs> was not my best work. Do you, do you ever see? Do you ever see those like seven? They they have like fifteen year olds that are like seven feet tall. Yeah. But they like they run like this because they haven't figured out their bodies yet. Sure. Well, is it, I, 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 <laughs> I mean, I, I I'll take it. I'll take. It. I would say I'm more. When I played in high school, I was probably more like less coordinated because I was also way skinnier. Oh yeah. You know, I was like a stick figure running around. Yeah. But yeah. Now I mean. You bulked up. Yeah, a little, a little bit. I mean, I don't blame like. Have you stood on like a platform? I mean, how tall are you? Six, 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 yeah. six. Like, oh, I, I. That's that's four. If you're standing on something that's four, like if you stand on a toilet that's probably like up fourteen yeah. inches, like that, I don't blame you. Like you get wild. Yeah, there's it's, extra. It's high up. There's a lot extra to manage here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I've walked in Air Force Ones and I feel unstable. I can't imagine <laughs> yeah. being a whole foot taller. <laughs> yeah. And and having to function are, and run normally. Are there actual problems that tall people face? I don't know. Like. In what sense? That's uh, how you know they don't back, have any problem. Yeah. General experience, like my back hurts sometimes. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I imagine you guys are like Great Danes, where you know, you know, it looks good and whatever, and then like you guys have big hearts, and then you'll just you know die and like. Well, that like, <laughs> like, for like super tall people, I think that yeah. does happen. But, like for me, like the I guess the, I mean, it's not like not even complaining. Like I like being tall, but like the 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 one. Like the issues I would say, since you're asking, is like, just like t- like cramped spaces. Like my, one of my biggest pet peeves, is like airplane seats, because when mm. when like a five year old kid reco- like reclines their seat on me and it's like digging into my knees. I'm yeah. Like, now are you one of those? Are you one of those? Uh, are you one of those tall guys that you're you're six six? Are you one of those tall guys that will date like a five foot one girl? Yeah. I uh, we Why? hate you. We hate you guys. Yeah. You you are giraffes. You're supposed to eat from the trees and leave leave the leave warthogs the, the bushes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, no, I don't. I just like don't discriminate really in terms of height. Although I feel like well, I mean, it doesn't really matter. To it's me. nice to have that option. It's like isn't if, it? if a girl's like five one. Well, if a girl's like five, like it could be you know it's fun, but also like I I don't yeah I, I would I like date any range of height. For Wouldn't a girl. that hurt your? Doesn't that hurt your neck? You trying to kiss someone that's trying to kiss someone that's what seventeen inches shorter than you. I mean, you make it work. <laughs> I'm sure, the blowjobs are nice. That's <laughs> <laughs> no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Because when I hear that, I'm like, oh, it doesn't sound like tall people actually have problems, except for the fact well, that they have the entire. I can't say. I can't say that. I can't compare. You know. How I mean, is it sitting on a normal toilet? 
it's it's fun. I mean, because <laughs> like, like for me, do your like, legs like swing off? Yeah. <laughs> We're very very no, close. Yeah, yeah, no, actually, very close. Yeah. I'm on my tippy toes. Thank you. Well, our well, dad's a contractor, so our entire house growing up was he built. Everything was at our level. So normal oh, light nice. switcher up here, our light switchers down here. Yeah. So it was always a problem for people. Like we have friends that are six two. They would always like try and feel around for the light switch, and uh, they'd be like, "Oh yeah, our friends are really short. Let me just yeah, scoop it. Yeah, yeah. scoop yeah. it down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was like a Smurf household. Yeah. But like no, like, as a tall person, like I feel like because like me, I could sit normally on the toilet and like my feet will touch the ground and it's fine. But like I feel like you guys almost have to go like your knees are almost above the toilet. It's a built-in. I've never really thought about it. It's a built-in okay. squatty potty. You have the, yeah. their knees are higher I know, up. Like it's, it's your naturally like the healthiest form is supposed to be a little more like yeah, like knees, in, yeah. Like knees tucked. So yeah. I'm like ten percent closer to that, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so you might actually have a better colon than short. People. Maybe like, you know maybe. you might have the proper angle. I'm interesting. Colon privileges. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's real. Well, I, I I always wonder how tall people. Uh, like get use the bathroom and then how really uh, fat people use the bathroom. Cause sometimes I, I like, or if you're a combination of both, like I yeah. feel like it's gotta D be DXL. You, you might break the toilet. <laughs> I feel yeah. like yeah, it's yeah. not a comfortable process being tall or fat, or if you're both forget about it. That's like the benefit of being short is yeah. you never have a problem using a bathroom. You never have a problem getting up things. And we live for a long time. It's true. Well, the, you guys are the Great Danes, and we're the little shitty white white the dogs. Crust, that the just, crusty dog. The, yeah. the crusty yeah. white dog that lives forever. That's us. I was going to say, like, airplanes have never been a problem for us. I will say there, that there are some advantages to being short. Airplanes are nice. Never had discomfort on an airplane. Yeah. Never hit my head on a ceiling or a, a door pass, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. um, a threshold. We, in you know, whatever, hooking up with a, a girl that's shorter than you, like whatever, 5'1", like that's probably not you know it's just a girl you don't see yeah, it. Yeah. hooking up with a tall girl for us yeah it's, that is a monumental accomplishment is that something you guys because I know probably like <laughs> typically t like taller girls like taller guys but obviously yeah, I'm sure you've had some experiences with taller girls is that something you like actively like if you have like the chance to hook up with a six foot girl you're like I gotta hook I up. Mean, we we have a that. running count of yes. who has the highest heights. What, what's what are the I've numbers I've at? I've stretched to the the tallest heights in the world. Five eleven. I haven't broken the six foot, but I got a five eleven. I have I have five ten. It's like okay. we've climbed Kilimanjaro, but yeah. we've not gone to Everest. Yet. Yeah. But for we, us, it's like a it's like a I don't know. As a short guy, you have to overcome a lot to get to that. Yeah. Like, because like usually the stigma is like good, whatever. You have to be a certain. So height. it's like a fun challenge. Almost. It's oh, like yeah. a challenge. Yeah. It's a hundred percent like a challenge. My yeah. tallest is five nine. I think that's not even a double digit. Five. It's not. No, I haven't had a. Well, a it's like watch yet. Well, it's like girls. We're also just measuring inches, just in a different. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. we're getting to a point where now we almost sound like every girl. Where it's like, I just want a six footer. <laughs> I, just want, I just want a six footer. Like I want a girl yeah. that's six feet tall, just yeah. to say like, tell my kid, my my five foot four kid one day, like, hey man. You were, you were almost 5'8". Yeah. I will you say, almost are here. as a short king, uh, having sex with a tall girl, stick to the lying down activities. Yeah. Prone bone, missionary, yeah. uh, riding. Because if you start doing doggy, they'll be like propped up, and then you have to like you, spread their you know, legs. Like, do tiptoes on your knees. Yes. 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 Yeah. It's oh. almost like when a giraffe like is slipping from like Madagascar. They have to like go all the way across like this, like yeah. they're doing the splits. It's, it's definitely one of those short guy problems they don't tell you about. I believe yeah. it though. It sounds yeah. You'll you'll never know the joys of having to go on your tippy toes to make out with a chick. <laughs> <laughs> you'll never know that thrill. Maybe I, I you know, I, I think I feel like if I saw like some gorgeous like six eight girl. Yeah. I'd be like, yo. Yeah. You, gotta, you gotta go for it. Some, <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a girl that's taller than me, but. No. Yeah. Some girl, some guys are chubby chasers, we're WNBA player chasers. Fair. That's all it is. You're, it's almost like, how tall are you guys? Five, six? Sure. Yes, we'll say yes. that. Okay. Five, six. Because I was gonna say, also, if you end up with a tall girl long term, like, you start, your kid's like five, ten, you're like, let's That's the dream. Even at the gym. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. He gets, a, he gets like a six, two girl. Yeah. Yeah, your grandkids could be six five. There is hope. Maddie, yeah, that we, that's I, that's the dream. We I can cor case. we can correct this within two generations. Yeah, it's possible. Well, and balding, and balding. We can get a, a kid that ideally is not balding and is a little taller. Probably not. Happening. Ideally, yeah, because on the mom side. Oh, maybe. Ideally, we find a girl that's like our height, but everybody else in her family is like five yeah. so or the six gene pool foot is strong. So it's like yeah. you don't have to like deal with all the tall girl problems, but you do get the benefits of that's those smart. Viking genes. That's smart. That's what I'm aiming for. Yeah. Yeah. Find me, find me a girl that's like five seven, but her everybody else in her family is like six two. Yeah. yeah. I want my kid to be short though. 
Like, there's a lot of thing. Like, you know, we we became a little scrappier because we always had to deal with like, True. oh, you're just a, you're a short guy, you're a manlet, and it's like it toughens you up a little bit. And then you get a little more crafty when you do things. Like, yeah. if I can't reach something on the top shelf, I have to like grab a water bottle and kind of like spin it and turn it until <laughs> it comes down to our level. Fair, you mean, uh, yeah. We get a little more creative. What are you so saying? you're going the opposite direction. You're looking for a little person. Is, yeah, is, I'm is, looking is, for somebody <laughs> that's my height or a little lower. Yeah. yeah, five. But if you really want them to be short. Go, oh, yeah. I don't go get it. Go get a lollipop guild. I'll go get a lollipop. It's yeah. fine with me. Yeah, get, a, get a reverse uh, a Tyrion, a girl Tyrion. Uh, yeah, a t- uh, Tyriana, Tyriana Lannister. <laughs> yeah, I get a Tyriana Lannister. It's fine with me. Uh, Jack, we're closing this bad boy out. Is there anything you want to plug? Uh, your frat, maybe, or whatever. No, <laughs> not the frat, no. Um, social media, anywhere where people can find you, and then... Yeah, social media is uh, Jack Atkins 21 on Instagram. Jack Atkins with two S's on TikTok. Uh, the ones with the really... blue check next to them. Yeah, I don't really... I don't know, <laughs> I'm not... I mean, I'm having fun on social media, but it's like I'm yeah. not going too hard with it anymore. But yeah, we don't. You, if you go on, the nice thing about Jack's profile is if you go on there, he's not uh, selling bang energy in a speedo yeah. every True. time. He's, yeah, not, he's, I wish I was. Did you have a right? You, I, I think one of your videos was like a raising cane thing, right? Yeah, I did a partnership Sick. with them. I'm doing a partnership right now with um so jealous. this like sports betting app, which is really cool. Nice. So that's been fun. But which one? It's called Underdog Fantasy. Nice. Go check it out. Weekly Pickums. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's been good. It's paying my rent. So. There we <laughs> go. Yeah, anything that's any any money from the internet that it's great. is um, it's it's all imaginary and it, like it didn't exist. And it's like, dude, exactly. I got it from nothing. So yeah. I'll thank take you, it. Exactly. Bud Light Seltzer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Bud Light did give us some money. That was yeah. dope. They did during the pandemic. Not anymore. Um, obviously, check out the tours, lava dates, uh, versitriplets dot com. If you're watching our podcast this deep in, you already know all that stuff. Uh, merch right here. I got my my flirty and dirty merch. Showing them. Oh, well, I was talking. I was talking into. Oh, my. <laughs> I was using the microphone to talk into. But here, I'll show you the merch. There you go. Flirty and dirty. Thank you, Jack, for showing it off. Uh, obviously, come check us out live if you get the chance. Maybe we'll do a show in Chicago. I don't know yeah, yet. Working on it. Uh, yeah. We'll work on that. But thank you guys so much for listening. Later. Oops. Sweet. <laughs>